These are interactive illustrations created with the system presented in our SIGGRAPH 91 paper. In this example, a figure watches a fly. This animation was created interactively, then an object encapsulating Pixar's render man asked all the objects in the scene to render themselves, producing this anti-aliased and texture mapped rendering. Like user interfaces and interactive behaviors, renderers are first-class objects in our system, with access to the same time-varying information that every object has. Further, the renderer's own information and parameters can be time-varying. Let's take a closer look at how this figure was constructed. On the left, we see the splines used as the paths of extrusion for the various parts of the figure. Our system of dependencies helps to make modification of the figure a simple process. We can adjust the gesture of the figure by moving a few control points. In this example, the fly is following a path while the figure breathes and watches the fly. Thus, we have a series of related dependencies rather than several unrelated dependencies as in the roller coaster segment. Notice that even after we modify the point on the head's path, the dependencies that keep the eye and the head looking at the fly are maintained. A close-up of the head shows the subtleties of this motion. Here we see another figure. This time the control points defining the splines are controlled by an inverse kinematics object. The goals for the end effectors are cubes. These are attached to other cubes using damped springs. This produces smoother motion of the goals when interactively animating the figure. The inverse kinematics controller realizes that the positions of the joint objects it controls are no longer correct and performs the necessary calculations to update the joint positions. The splines also update seeing that the joints they are using for control points have changed. Finally, the figure itself changes, having seen the spline change. This example demonstrates the use of one controller. The next example will show how our system can integrate several disparate animation techniques, user-controlled interaction, inverse kinematics, dynamic constraints, and collision detection. We have already chosen positions for the inverse kinematics goals earlier. Now we watch the controllers interact. The purple balls are constrained to now invisible goal cubes, while the green balls are constrained in a chain between the purple spheres. At any time, we may modify the behavior of a controller or turn it off. In this example, we turn off the constraints and augment the forces between the balls, causing them to fly apart. The positions of the balls are monitored only by the collision detection controller, which applies penalty forces if the balls penetrate an object. Thus, the balls bounce off the floor. This illustration includes a screwdriver tool to modify the important parameters of our mouse, such as the direction of a thruster cone. Once the mouse is created, we run time forward. Signals propagate through the mouse at each time step. When the mouse hits the cheese, the collision detection controller applies appropriate forces to make them bounce apart.